Hello, I'm SolarLoom, and this is a quick little tutorial, or I guess more of a tip and, and trick kind of uh, video. This is talking about SFXR, which is a sound um, creation tool. It's used to make more chip tunish, or not chip tunish, but chippy sounds like a like old school NES or Commodore 64 or things, uh, old games like that would make. And so it's uh, pretty good for for that kind of stuff. You have a uh, different simple uh, presets that you can load up here that will basically generate a sound similar to what it says explosion power up laser or shooting or pick up coin jump but uh, you can also change the individual uh, settings here in the manual settings pane pain. so you can mutate a uh, selection which makes it a little more different and then you have randomized which will obviously make a, a random sound you can load and save sounds in a proprietary format and you can also export it to a wave and that's what the volume meter is about so let's just mess around really quick let me see. So we have different lasers. Should pick coins. Explosion. hit jump and selection so say we find something we like like um explosion that's pretty good well now we can mutate it if we want to switch it up a little So if you uh, want to mutate, you might want to save it first and save it somewhere that you like, then you can mutate it and see if you like it or not, and then go back and load it. So then export it, and that's about it. And so now you've got a nice little sound. Now even if you don't like the sound that this puts out, you can still use it because, um, say for example, we Let's load up that explosion unit, actually. We, we know it's a noise generator. We know that there's some sustain on it. We know there's some punch on it. By listening and using these values, you can recreate it in, like, for example, Sunbox, and then alter it with different filters and, and distortion units to really get your own sound. Even though these are this is a nice uh, generator, it still sounds like SFXR. You know, when you hear a lot of games, they use uh, SFXR. A little chip, you know, simple, not little, but uh, more retro games. They use SFXR for their sounds. And so they sound like SFXR, which isn't bad because it has a wide variety of sounds. But if you want your own sound, you can still get it that way. Okay, so that was a quick little tutorial kind of thing on SFXR. Thanks for watching. I'm SolarLoom. If you uh, want to suggest any um, tutorials, please feel free to do so. Um, if you feel like donating to help fund more tutorials, you can do so on my homepage at Solar Loom Game Up. Well, it's just called Game Up, actually. But anyway, yeah, so uh, that was SFXR. Have fun. Thanks for watching.